<laughs> oh, ho, ho, laddie. You almost got yourself short. <laughs> well, hey, everybody. Jeff Williams here with SFWiz.com. Yeah, I know what we're doing today. Well, of course, we're back down here in our secret drift mine. If you noticed, I started digging down into the clay zone because I wanted to see how much gold was down there. Pulled all this material up off the floor. Got uh, three buckets of material that's right on top. I got one bucket here, look at this. This nice chunky stuff, see that? Nom, nom, nom. We're gonna let this dry out up on the surface and then I'll run it through a crusher and see if there's anything in it. This is on the stuff that's right down here. Come here, I want you to see this. See all this caliche right here? See how it's kind of weird shaped? It even got pockets, see that pocket down in there? I had to shore up my, my wood. And of course I got my post rested on top of some nice caliche. And look at this little shelf right there. See that shelf? And then I got some caliche right here. And it's pocketed. See that? And then there's that nice, nice material that we're chasing right there. See that? Right along there, it's sitting on top of this caliche right there. Oh, woo, go for a ride, baby. <laughs> Ooh, isn't that pretty looking? <laughs> uh, before we get started, I had to say a big cowboy howdy shout out to a whole bunch of new patrons. Here it comes. I got Jeremy Taylor, Richard Davis, uh, Jaden Aykroyd, Christopher J. Hewig. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Dennis Dayton. Hi Dennis, how you doing out there? Now, he's got videos on YouTube as well, so if you want to check him out. And of course, you know, he's co-host on a radio show. It's prospectorsradio.com. It airs every Sunday, I think about 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, if I'm not mistaken. But he's a good guy, go check him out. Anyway, I just want to say big cowboy, So I got a whole bunch of stuff I got to cover today. I'll try to make it fast. A lot of people were telling me, Jeff, get rid of that thing. So I got rid of it. And I got me a big old lagging bolt. And we put in these uh, four inch uh, lagging bolts. I didn't tell you before, when you put the lagging in, you start from the bottom. If you got room, you backfill as you go. You got it? All this beautiful rich material, it's starting to curve to the left. We're gonna have to start curving the track. Now in the old days, they used what was called a Jim Crow. You can look it up. We're not gonna be using a Jim Crow because we're not using narrow gauge or baby gauge. We're using pipe, so we're gonna be bending the pipe. Now, one other thing I forgot to tell you about this, this lagging right here. This lagging is only gonna go halfway. You got that? That way the next set of lagging can come in halfway. Do you see my point? And you do that on the back too for your lagging what's the last thing i want to cover we needed a name for the mine and we asked all of our premium patreon subscribers what, what they wanted to name this mine and you want to know what it is i'll show you what it is well let me get this out of the way hey Let me get this over to the to the shaft. Okay, let me see if Slim's up there. He's a rascal. Slim, Slim, can you hear me? I can hear you, Jump. <laughs> All right, Slim. I need you to lower down the the hoist so I can get these buckets out. Okay, you got it. <laughs> He's such a good partner. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, bucket up. One bucket going up. <laughs> Ooh, that's a long ways. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these uh, back to the house and then we'll finish drying them out there. Then we'll crush them and then we'll try to see what has the better goal. If it's in the top surface layers or if it's down deep where the caliche's at. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Do you know what I'm gonna say, Slim? Uh, go ahead, say it, <laughs> So come on. No. That's right, let's go. <laughs> Go my leg, old man out of here. <laughs> my finer stuff over here that I'm gonna run through the gold cube here. See that, I got this thing all set up. For my chunkier stuff, I got this all dried out. See the conglomerates in there? There's some round stone, whole bunch of round conglomerate locked up in this clay. I'm gonna run it through this guy right here. This is a K&M Crusher. So I'll leave a link down below where you can get these guys. These are pretty cool, I like them. And you can get them in gas powered or electric. But out in the field, I'd recommend gas powered, okay? Okay, so you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Or do you know what I'm gonna say? You don't know what I'm gonna say. So come on, let's go. Up 
We modified our k and just a little bit. We put our exit port right here and we put a screen right here. See that screen? And when you're working with limonite, which is kind of like a scorn, you have to have a larger screen because if you have that fine uh, punch plate in there, uh, the, the scarn and the, the limonite is going to plug it up real fast. And I know I should have a vent exhaust line on this, but I don't yet, so don't leave that comment. Yeah, I know, look at that nasty clay. Shift them down just a little bit, there you go. Now don't worry, if you got any gold inside your drop ripple sluice, it ain't going anywhere. Gold's 19.3 times heavier than water, so it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I think that's a piece of gold right there. Ooh, I got two pieces of gold. See that? See if I got any third tray. Yeah, get on in there, get some, boy. And then there's another one right there. It's kind of up on its side, see that? Mm, I can taste it. And Jeff, I want to see the top tray. Come here, I got little tiny pieces of gold. There's a little itty bitty one right there. I mean, you need to get way close on that one. See him? I got a little itty bitty tiny piece of gold. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh and there's one right there, see that? And there's a couple more right over in the corner. I'm washing this into my, my pan, and if I lose it, it'll be in my tub. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Oh, there it is! <laughs> wow! That's super fun, you see that? Little itty, I mean, a very tiny pieces in there. See that gold? See how that's all rounded? That's from an impact mill. That's what happens when you put gold inside of an impact mill. It gets all rounded like that. So that tells me the majority of that gold came out of that one bucket. And I don't see any other flakes. So the, I think it's safe to say it all came out of that one bucket. I'm gonna melt it down and do a little button just for you. So you know what I'm gonna say. Uh, so come on, let's go. I'm gonna have to suck up all that gold. And then I have to dry it out in order to melt it. Now, you're just wondering, hey Jeff, are you gonna use your furnace? No, heck no, I wanna show you something that you can use at home and that's not expensive. Steve over at Make Your Own Gold Bars, I'll leave a link down below. He sent us one of these kits right here. Look at that. It's a little baby furnace. So I'm gonna show you how you can use standard propane uh, to melt your gold and then we're gonna make a little button. One of our viewers sent me a box, see this? Mmm, smells like chocolate chip cookies. No, no, his name's Ruben over at Lux Chroma. He said he had something special for us, so hope it is, but I'm not sure. So Jeff and Slim, enjoy. Included is a dimmer. <laughs> What's that say? <laughs> ah, do you see that? So come on. Let's go. Ooh, I gotta plug this in. Hold on a second while I wire this up. So come on. Let's go. I love it. Ooh, thank you so much. Now I'm gonna leave a link down to his website because he makes all kinds of stuff like this. Well, I know you ain't gonna like this. Uh, this will be part one of a part two series. I just thought you'd like to see the first part and if you really like me, you'll come and see the second part. Until next time, this is Jeff Williams and ooh, that's right, that's JeffWilliams.com. Saying you got a bunch of gold and you gotta melt it down? Go on over to Steve and melt your own gold bar. Turn that frown upside down. Take care, everybody. I just can't wait to...